beautiful people welcome back to my channel today i am doing kind of like a mystery box unboxing type thing um so a few nights ago i did a live stream and after that live stream one of my viewers messaged me on instagram and he was like i have a load of merch that i really want to send to you i don't need it anymore um, and they sent it to me. It was originally in a box, but I've taken it out of the box just because it had like my address on it and everything. Um, and this is what I have received. He did send me a picture of like things that he didn't want anymore. And he was like, do you want any of this? Um, but I can't remember what was in those pictures. And he also said that there is stuff in here that I also don't know about. So it is kind of like a mystery box. So I'm very excited about this and I am so 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 grateful i've never really had anyone like send me anything before um and i just i'm so thankful and i can't actually believe that you've done this for me i'll leave his instagram in the description box um so yeah thank you so much because this honestly means the world to me and i can't wait to actually open it and see what's inside Hi, my name is Zoe. Welcome to my channel. Hit that subscribe button. I would love to get to 1,500 subscribers, possibly like 2,000 by the end of this year, but I kind of don't think that's going to happen. I feel like it's kind of unrealistic. Um, but if you want to just become part of my little family, join my hashtag Onion Ring Crew. You guys seem to really love the hashtag Onion Ring Crew. You don't have to like onion rings to be part of it. It's just like my little family it's just my little fan base i'd just like to call you guys the onion ring crew um so if you want to join that then hit the subscribe button also i do actually have a second channel where i vlog like behind the scenes and i vlog kind of at home and just more of like my personal life and i kind of abandoned it last year um but i'm starting to go back to that channel and i'm starting to upload on there once again so please go and check that out if you want to see if you just want like something else to watch throughout lockdown and you want to see what goes on behind the scenes then go and check that channel out as well okay enough rambling let's get in to this i'm so excited oh my gosh i i feel like i've got like a P.O. box and like I've been sent loads of amazing things I do actually have the scissors I really love how he's um put this I can't remember what this is called but oh something sounds breakable um I don't know what this is called it does have a name but I can't remember um but I do love how you put that on there for me so it's all nice and secure so thank you so much this does have a name and i can't remember what it's called and it's really bugging me my brother a few years ago he got me a perfume for christmas and he wrapped it up and then he put this over the wrapping paper but he put loads of this on it so i couldn't actually get into my present <laughs> okay so we have a alton towers scarefest tote bag which I love so much. I kind of have like a little collection of tote bags, um, literally just like over there. I have a Blackpool Tower one, I have an Icon one, and I have a Pleasure Beach one. I think you have a Chester Zoo one or a Blackpool Zoo one. I love opening presents so much, oh my gosh. <gasps> oh my God, it's all like wrapped up. Oh my God. <gasps> this makes it even more exciting. So it's like more, it feels like Christmas. It feels like Christmas Day again. Oh my god, okay. Right, well, I'm just gonna like pick and choose whatever. So we'll go for this one first. I'm glad I kept my scissors with me just in case I need them. Okay, this feels very light. I don't know what's gonna be in here. I have no idea what any of this is. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. I feel like a little kid. Ugh, I need to get into it first. Okay, so, oh yes. Okay, so the first thing I have is an Icon Premium face mask and i do already have one of these but i've wanted another one for the longest time because i have had so many moments where i've been like oh my god where's my mask i've lost it i've left it in places like i feel like a mask is such an easy thing to lose um so i've always wanted a spare one and also if that one's i just dropped it but if that one is being washed then i have another one that i can wear because i just don't like wearing any other face masks like i've tried to wear other face masks 
but I just can't. I always go back to my Icon one because this is just really comfortable, it's breathable, it's black so it goes with anything. I just love the Icon like design there um, and I just can't wear any other face mask. I haven't been able to find one of these anywhere like i think they stopped like selling them or they're just out of stock or whatever so i'm very grateful for this and it's going to be really handy because we can't leave the house without a face mask these days so <laughs> thank you so much i'm so grateful for this i'm gonna have a lot of rubbish after this video <laughs> okay next thing i'm gonna go for is gonna be this oh this feels soft so maybe it could be like a teddy bear Ooh, what is this? Oh my gosh! Oh my god! No way! That is sick! Okay, so we have a Mr. Funshine tie. Look at this! Oh my god! gosh i mean i don't wear ties like obviously i'm not gonna wear this but this is i'm gonna like put this on display like oh my god thank you so much this is incredible oh i would love to know like what year this is from i love mr funshine so much oh my gosh thank you and then we also have another one oh wow oh my god <gasps> where on earth did you get these from okay so this just has like a load of different like pitch oh my god we have bradley beaver <gasps> we have avalanche bradley beaver revolution mr funshine again uh i'm gonna assume that that's big dipper we have the big one oh my god <gasps> This is incredible. Thank you so much. Oh my god. Wait, let me. I don't know how to like tie ties because I'd never, you know, I've never had to like wear one. And in school, we also, we always had um clip-on ties, so you never had to actually tie them yourself. Oh my god. I assume that it is a tie. It's not like a scout's thing, is it or something? I don't know. Oh my god. Oh, it's so cute. I'm actually gonna like try and style this. What do I do with this? I have like a load of excess. <laughs> like, what do I do with this? Do I just like, I don't know. I guess I just tie it here. I'm gonna like find a way to make these ties like work with my outfit. Like, it would look so cool. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. That honestly, that means the world to me. Oh my God. How many other people own stuff like this? Cause I bet like not a lot of people do. Thank you so much. I'm in love with these. I'm gonna like treasure these forever. Okay, I'm gonna go for this one. It feels like Lego and it kind of sounds like Lego. Um, I don't know what this could be. Oh my gosh, I think they're all pin badges. Oh my God, you really like outdid yourself here. Okay, so we have Nemesis Subterra, which I've never been on. I really want to like experience it. We have 13. Oh my gosh, there's loads in here. We have Nemesis. We all know how I feel about Nemesis. Um, we have the Smiler. Oh, my favourite Alton Towers. Oh, what's this? We have no bells. But are so cute, oh my gosh. Uh, Expedition G-Force, oh, that's so cool. Uh, we have Rita. I love how they're all in these like little plastic boxes. It makes them feel really special. Oh my gosh, we have Movie World. Oh, that's incredible i'm gonna cry i'm very like overwhelmed oh my gosh and then the final one we have oh my gosh this is not sperry farm <gasps> oh my god that's incredible i'm gonna open one of them um if i 
can without breaking it. <laughs> How do I get into this? Okay, there we go. <gasps> oh my god, it's incredible. Oh my god, this one like moves, I think. I don't want to like take it out too much because I don't want it to break. Oh, this one moves. That's so cute. Oh, I love that so much. And ah, just dropped it. This is why I'm going to put it back in the box because I'm going to end up breaking them otherwise. These are absolutely incredible. And thing is, like, when I collect merch, like, I don't collect it in the hope of, like, selling it one day. Like, I have a really big collection there. Um, and I don't buy any merch with the intention of selling it or, like, even when I get older. Like, I want to keep it all with me and it all means so much to me and I feel like every single piece of merch that I have has some sort of like meaning behind it and it has some sort of like story to it um so I just really love like keeping all of my merch and like I can pass it down to my family if I ever have kids uh when I'm older um and yeah you know I just I really love like just collecting merch and I don't buy it with the intention of like selling it like ever like maybe one day like i might if i ever outgrow theme parks i don't think i will because i like all i live for is theme parks um but yeah so i'm very grateful for all of this and these all of these pin badges are going to be looked after so 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 well so oh my god thank you so much okay next thing i'm gonna go for is this one it sounds like a key ring oh it's not a key ring okay what are these <gasps> wow oh my gosh these are incredible so okay i don't really know what you'd like call them they look like those like coin machine things that you sometimes get and you can like create your own thing but oh my these are incredible okay so we have this like valhalla thing and these are like rose gold copper and rose gold is like my favorite color and um, so we have a valhalla one we have one with the pleasure beach logo and then we have an infusion one i love infusion so much this ride gets so much unnecessary hate so i do love infusion oh my gosh they're amazing thank you and then we have this oh we have two of them ride the adventure blackpool pleasure beach i have actually never been on valhalla which shocks so many people um and i really regret not going on it now that it's like being refurbished and everything i really regret not going on it um i've just never really fancied getting that wet so i've just never been on it but I will definitely go on it when it reopens again. Um, but yeah, we have these. And they look so cool. I feel very, um, I feel like guilty because I've never ridden Valhalla. So I don't really have like a justification to like have these. Um, but thank you so much. One day when I do get on Valhalla, I will not feel as guilty for having these. And then we also have a Pleasure Beach. I'm gonna assume, again, this is a sticker. Yeah, it kind of is. Um, in gold, which looks so cool. I'm gonna save this for like, whenever I get like my own car or something, when I start to drive, I'm gonna put this on my car and it's gonna look sick. So thank you for those. These are very like rare pieces. And I love that. I love merchandise that is like rare or limited edition. I want everything from the 125th anniversary range from Pleasure Beach. Like, I want everything. I love opening parcels so much. Oh my gosh, I'm I'm so grateful for all of this. I know I keep saying it, but I can't put forward my like gratitude enough. Um, what is this? There's like nothing, it, okay, must be some sort of like ride part, I'm guessing. I have absolutely no idea what this is. Um, I'm gonna assume that it's like part of a wheel or something, or it's from like Valhalla maybe. I don't, I'm gonna message the guy on Insta and see if, uh, well obviously he's gonna know what it is. I'm gonna ask him what it is. Um, yeah, 
I mean, thank you, because when I find out what it is, like, I'm going to love it a lot more. But, yeah, that's interesting. So I did message the guy on Instagram and he told me that it is a big one broken wheel, which you guys know the big one is my favourite ride, it's my baby, I love it so 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 much and uh, this is a broken big one wheel which is absolutely insane, I still can't believe it. I have a full like non-broken big one wheel and now I have like part of a big one wheel so I'm very happy with my collection um and I just can't believe it's from the big one so thank you so 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 much okay and now I think we're on the final oh no 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 we're not we have two more okay I'm gonna go for the smallest one first we'll save the biggest till last No way! Oh my god! How on earth did you get hold of this? That's... Oh my god, that's incredible! Oh my god, okay, so it's like a notebook um, and we have Mr. Funshine up here and it says monitor and Mary Mac, I think. I think that's how you say it. And then at the bottom, Monitor and Mary Mac, 525 Promenade Blackpool Telephone. And it just sounds like a load of information. I wish there was like a date on here of like the year that this is from. <gasps> oh my god, it says Jeffrey Thompson. Oh. My heart, I actually can't. Jeffrey Thompson is such a legend. All communications to be addressed by to the company at Blackpool. I don't want to use this. I want to just like save all of this, all of these like pieces of paper. And now we're on to the final thing, which makes me really sad. I loved opening all of this so much. Okay, final one. This also feels like a book. Could it be another notebook? Who knows? Let's see i do need to have like a massive sort out of all of that because it all needs cleaning and i kind of want to reorganize it as well um so i do actually need to sort that out oh this, okay this is a book okay oh my gosh so oh my gosh oh this is heavy okay roller coaster wooden and steel coasters twisters and corkscrews from David Bennett. Oh, it says down here, April 2000. Oh, that edge is really sharp. <laughs> so maybe it's from 2000. Oh my God, I can't wait to read this. I love looking back at like old, <gasps> Magnum XL is in here. Oh my God. I love looking back at like, Oh my god, Olympia looping! <gasps> oh my god, this is so sick. Um, I need to stop getting distracted. The big one's in here! Oh my god. <gasps> the big one's in my baby! If you're new to my channel, uh, the big one at Blackpool Pleasure Beach is my favourite ride in the entire world and it she is my baby and I miss her so much I'm gonna like cry um and she's in this book with the old train that's incredible oh my god um yeah I do love looking back at like old rides and especially with Blackpool Pleasure Beach um I just find how it's all kind of because it's been around for so long and obviously the whole world is has just been changing and changing and changing. It's really cool to see how it started and then see how it's all changed and evolved and every single decision that they've made has led them to where they are now. <gasps> is that Pleasure Beach? <gasps> it is, oh my gosh. Oh my God, I think there's like a whole chapter on Pleasure Beach. Oh my God, I think that. <gasps> my god look at this stop you oh, 
you've really outdone yourself here. I do not. A day in the life of Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Oh my god. I do not deserve this. Thank you so, 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 so much. So, thank you so much to the viewer who sent me all of this. I am so, so, so grateful. I could literally, like, cry. Like, especially, all of this is so, like, rare. Like, the ties and, like, all of the pin badges and that book and the face mask as well. Like, everything. Thank you so, so, so much. I'm so, so, so grateful. Um, and you really didn't have to do it for me. Um, and I feel like I don't deserve any of it at all. So, like, thank you so much oh my gosh so i hope you guys enjoyed this video um and filming like haul videos i think are like my favorite videos to film so like doing stuff like this i really enjoyed this and the fact that i didn't know what i was getting made it even more better made it more fun um so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it give it a thumbs up if you did hit the subscribe button and i'll see you guys next time for a brand new video Bye. Cause ain't nobody like me.